thanks for having me again. Uh, we did this just recently, uh, a couple weeks ago, you and I. Yeah. We do these webinars. We do these webinars every week. Um, and and like Eric said, we we have one of our live training classes for the people that actually you know join ABS. We have that going on, and we're we're right in the middle of it. Wednesday, you know, it goes from Monday to Friday. Uh, I would just want to share some numbers real quick. Um, 22 people in our live training uh, this week. Let me share some other numbers with you. Uh, for this webinar right here that everyone is listening to, 130 people registered for this webinar. Um, let me share another random number. Um, 70 doctors signed up on our system last month, our biggest month ever last month. So if you're sitting here wondering, is this an industry that's growing or do I need to get involved in this industry or is there money to be made in this industry? Hopefully some of those numbers will tell you, I mean, we're on track for our biggest year ever this year. So any of you who are looking to make a decision on a, a solid industry, this is as solid as it gets. Man, th those are great numbers there, uh, Adam. I'm glad you brought some of those numbers out because a lot of times we don't get, get a chance to share those numbers, but it's good to hear that, man, 70 doctors just last month signed up on, on, on our system. So a lot of people are asking, Adam, are doctors wanting to change from one system to another? I think you just answered that question. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, folks, what we're going to do here, we're going to get started here. Uh, in We do ha already have the handout for this webinar. For those that can't stay for the entire time, you can always go check that out. We've got that in a PDF. You can go look at that. Also, just to remind you that we want you to ask questions during the webinar. Anytime during the webinar, we're going to be monitoring the questions as they come in. Uh, but there's a lot of information we want to get to you, and again, we want to get to that information fast. Again, there's a picture of our current class that uh, Cynthia is teaching right now. But Adam, you talk about numbers here. Let's get right into some of these numbers. And, and I know that we've used these guys in the past, the Black Book Research Group. Uh, this guy, Doug Brown, he is the managing partner of Black Book, and he's, he's basically stating here uh, that the rising healthcare expenditures and the complex uh, technology or staffing requirements to succeed, undervalued base care is creating the urgent demand for cost-effective, technically advanced business offices, outsourcing solutions in physician practices ac across the country. That's a lot said, but basically he's saying outsourcing for doctors is the way to go. Yeah, if you guys are looking for third-party validation, I mean, this is just one of dozens of sources that we can point you to um, that have articles where there have been surveys done with, with uh, practices saying that they're looking to outsource what's called their, their RCM, uh, their revenue cycle management. So that's what you want to search for if you're out there Googling for this kind of stuff. Here's another one right here. Outsourced RCM services is what, what most physicians are looking to do and wanting to do because they're just starting to realize, you know what? It, it, someone outside the office focused on filing the claims and following up on them and several other things that I'm trying to manage in my office. It just makes more sense because they can focus more on that outside of the office. I had a, a prospect uh, just ask me that question uh, earlier today and I sent them the link to this article. So. There you go. And, and, and just right down here it says a 30 percent growth from practices of less than 25 doctors. So we're talking about clinics that are, are housing doctors 25 or less, there's a 30% growth, uh, growth here potentially, and it's because of these numbers. I mean, again, according to uh, Black Book, they gathered their all of their information, and it says basically there's a 42% growth rate over the period, the quarter Q4, which is 2016, through Q1 of 2019, and getting outsourcing out getting it out of their office. So, Adam, I know a lot of people still are kind of concerned, well, can't the doctors do billing in their own their own practice? Yeah, and that's actually the concern that uh, the prospect that texted me earlier, uh, he said, why don't they just get the software and do it themselves? And, and you know, the answer is they, there's other – there's other software packages that are similar to ours. You know, there's there's some that do some of the things that ours does. You know, it's kind of a apples to apples kind of comparison. But ultimately, what it boils down to is they have to pay someone a salary, you know, to do this kind of work in their office. 
And this person makes the same amount of money no matter what happens to those claims. So that's the key thing is, you know, there's not a lot of motivation there to really, really focus on making sure those claims are paid in a timely manner and, and you know, the maximum is paid that they can get, you know, from the insurance company. So that's what our licensees can do. And they can tell a doctor, look, I'm getting paid a percentage of what you get paid. So that's what our licensees are doing. That's able. That's how they're able to get businesses because it makes a lot more sense for the doctor to do that. Because they can, I mean, they, the doctor can pay a licensee like 25 grand a year where it's costing, you know, 35 grand plus for a salaried person who doesn't do the work as good in-house. Right. That makes sense, yeah. No, and, and you're right, Adam. And one of the things that anybody's going to learn that comes through our training class that you're going to learn through those five days is how to do what's called a practice analysis. And what Adam's saying, you're going to learn those things, especially if they're doing billing in-house. So he's right. They're going to, there's a salary plus the cost of the software plus uh, clearing house fees, a lot of other types of things that the doctor doesn't add up necessarily when they're thinking about them doing their own billing. So folks, Really, there's some other numbers that we kind of just bypass because we want to get into what's going on in our training class. But in the, the handout that we do have for you, there's about four or five more slides that have some, some pretty good data uh, done by a third-party company, which is Black Book Research. Uh, check out those other slides there. You'll see some of the, uh, the percentages and why doctors are really do, uh, they are moving in that building out of their uh, their their office into an outsource uh, revenue cycle management company. So, Adam, let's get started here. And then you kind of uh, named this one yourself, but trying to, you know, get kick started in your business in this giant healthcare space. I mean, let's kind of talk about how big this thing really is. I mean, it's it's huge. The 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 numbers are growing year after year, and you know, the articles that I've I've posted online and our Twitter feed and whatnot uh, refer to you know the, the numbers being spent in healthcare in, in the billions of dollars. Um, you know I think it's predicted. One of the articles I found was it's predicted to be uh, something like 40 billion dollars spent in, in this industry, uh, revenue cycle management industry, in the next uh, 10, 15, 16 years, something like that. So it's this is a great time to be in it. I mean, <laughs> make hay while the sun shines. You know. Of course. Uh, before I start any, getting the slides, I'm going to look. I'm looking over the questions here, and this is a great question to kind of kick off with, Adam. And I'll I'll ask the question. It's from Nancy. She's asking how many people have joined AB Systems uh, over the period that we've been around. Sure, good question. So we have started this. We started ABS in in '94. I don't know if you know the whole backstory, but it's a family business. My parents founded the company in '94. Uh, we have over 700 people uh, all over the U.S. right now, owner operators that have gone, that have our current, you know, suite of products and services. So over 700 all over the U.S. Um, so hope, hope that answers that. That's good. All right, we'll save some of these other questions as we go through it, and then because we'll, we'll probably get to some of these uh, as we go through it. So, Adam, we're going to start like if we were looking over the class starting that day one and we'll go to day two and day three so we're going to just look at basically what's happening and what has happened just this last week in day one of the training workshop and the first thing that that is talked about there in day one is revenue cycle management now you alluded to that just a moment ago I have a slide here this might help you kind of break it down a little bit better for folks that have never heard of revenue cycle management yeah, we basically get right into the the nitty gritty of um, you know the the the, med, the the medical terminology 101 and, and revenue cycle management and what that actually means and and how what role does a licensee play in all of that and, and how our technology really has these these features that you see here that help complete the circle the revenue cycle management circle that's what our system does. And that's what our licensees do for doctors, and so we kind of go through that in detail on day one. Yeah. Yeah. So not only are you going to learn uh, re really what revenue cycle management is, but again, as Adam said, the what what makes ours have the advantage. And I have to kind of pinpoint. Everybody can see here. There's four major sections here, and it really is ours is the only section. I mean, system that actually has all these in one system, and specifically that what you see down at the bottom left-hand corner is the clearinghouse and We'll talk a little bit about that, 
but folks, if you don't know much about the clearinghouse, again, get with your ABS coach. They'll explain that to you and why that is one of the major advantages. But even as Adam said, you, we brought people into this business who have had not a lick of information about medical or medical terminology, and some of those are our biggest licensees that are out there, like you said, owner-operators in medical billing companies. Yeah. Uh, in fact, I asked that question uh, Monday morning at training. I asked that question, how many of you in the class, uh, by a show of hands, have been in any kind of healthcare business or in, you know, the healthcare industry? And I think maybe about five people raised their hand. Uh, and then I said, how many people have ever done any kind of billing at all, medical billing or otherwise? Zero. No one raised their hand. Um, so, you know, everyone's basically starting from the same point. And we, we talk about, I mean, basically with the terminology and medical billing 101 and revenue cycle, we go through all that on day one of the training. And, and by the end of day one on training, you are already going to know more than a lot of the, rev the uh, medical office managers out there. It's really kind of, kind of astounding. Yes, absolutely. And it all begins with going over the review of what iClaim is and what it does. I mean, Adam, this is really kind of like the nucleus of everything that happens uh, in medical billing or revenue cycle management. It starts with iClaim, and, and it's more than just a medical billing platform. If you could go into just, just a brief overview of what it means that iClaim is a practice management system, just a brief it, it, review of that. So it kind of gives people a little bit of understanding about an iClaim. Yeah, we get to the software first thing on Monday because everybody is very anxious to see it. I got I want to play with the software. I got to make sure it's going to be easy to use. I'm going to be able to learn it. And so that's why we walk people through the entire iClaim, you know, system and how it works. And basically by the end of Monday, everyone is has already learned how to file claims. You're filing medical claims using our iClaim system by the end of the first day. That's how easy it is. Um, it's and and then we go through the the technology itself and how it helps the doctors on their end. They can actually use our EMRX system in the exam room with patients. Um, it has uh, features that the front office can use if they like to do scheduling or insurance verification, all kinds of things like that. And then, of course, the section for the billing company where you guys, you know, the, the licensees will be working, um, that's all in there as well. So that's what we call a complete you know, cloud-based practice management system with an EHR, which means electronic. The, the EHR just means uh, instead of a clipboard, the doctors are using like a laptop or an iPad in the exam room. So we have all that wrapped in one, one system. Yeah. And you're going to go through, they're going to, uh, Cynthia is going to take you right through it. So before you even get your hands on, there's going to be a demo of the system, as you can see here, and you're going to see how it goes. And then all of a sudden, you're going to get launched into the system as you're looking at it right now. Uh, you're going to learn how to utilize the system. And we've kind of got a couple of screenshots here to show you what you're going to get into on day one. You're going to go in, log into iClaim. You're going to go to where it says billing and enter charges and right over here where it says professional claim charges. And then, like Adam says, day one, you're going to start putting in the information into the system. And you're going to show, we're going to show you how easy it is actually to create a claim and after that once you've got this information in here a lot of people ask Adam do, does your system come with all the codes absolutely every code that's ever needed to do billing is already going to be in the system and once you've got that put in there you're going to create claim and it's going to do that and again it all starts with this hands-on training we've got some pictures here of showing exactly what you'd be doing with the system putting in patient intake forms and super bills and and getting understood from a manual standpoint of how all of this is going to work for you. I mean, there's tons of hands-on training from day one. You're, everybody's working together as a team, and that's one of the values of having live training versus online training. Uh, you want to talk about that real briefly, too? Yeah, I mean, you know, for those who are not able to travel to Dallas, we do have an online training. Um, most people, I would say 99% of our, our trainees, our licensees, go to the live training in Dallas, Texas. But the online training has the same uh, material. It's done with a live instructor. It's just that you don't get, you know, like you see in this picture, you don't get the, uh, the interaction with the other licensees. You don't get any hands-on uh, role-playing or anything like that. So it is, it is different. Uh, but we do have that for people who are unable to travel, travel for some reason. Absolutely.
Yeah. All right, uh, we're coming clo closing down on day one, and before I get to day two, Adam, I want to review some of the questions that we have. And Natalie's asking the question, and I'll let you answer this: How realistic is it to believe a licensee can maintain a full-time job and then pursue this opportunity as a part-time until they get the business ramped up uh, to where they can leave their full-time job? Hi, Natalie. Great question. Um, we have people that have to do that all the time. Um, prop, you know, I don't know how many people in this class that we're doing right now, you know, have have a full-time job, but probably half the class have a full-time job still that they have to work and they have to build this business on the side. The good news is that a lot of the marketing that we teach can be done in the off hours. So early morning breakfasts, luncheons, things in the evenings, things on the weekends, it works around a busy schedule. So it is definitely doable. I mean, realistically, is it going to take you longer to get a client? Yes, of course. It's going to take you a little bit longer to get your name out there. Uh, but you would still be looking at, you know, maybe 60 to 90 days to get your first client. It could be a little bit more than that. I don't know. I could, you know, there's really no way to know. Um, it just depends on how many how many specific hours you're you're spending uh, doing the marketing throughout the week. But it, it is very flexible. Excellent. Good answer there on on that one. I'm just kind of just showing that yes, you can do the do it part time. Adam explained it perfectly well on on how. You know, a lot of people have just done that, you know, in their spare time and, and working. I know we've got people that are currently doing that right now. So they're already doing uh, their full-time job and this. And we've got a lot of couples do that, husband and wife teams do that as well. So it's, it's pretty and, cool. And, yeah, and you could hire a sales rep. That's one of our marketing methods that we'll talk about. Yeah, um, absolutely. So, yeah, you can get your name out there faster that way. Uh, one more question, and then we'll get into day two here. And Dell's asking, what is the sweet spot of a practice size for a new ABS uh, licensee to, con uh, to, con to contact at the start? What would you recommend, Adam? I would recommend practices that are 10 doctors or less. That would be your target in the beginning uh, because that would be the easiest for you to onboard, uh, which we help you out a lot with the onboarding as far as training of the system and We'll talk about that here later, but um, yeah, I would say 10 or less would be a, a good place to target in the beginning. But you know, once you get your business established and you have, you know, maybe if you have people that are helping you do the work, you know, you could certainly sign up. You know, we have licensees that have signed up. You know, one, one contract was 50 doctors in a contract, so you know, you certainly can go after those big ones if you can handle the work. Okay, uh, so we just reviewed day one. As you can see here, it's going to be a lot about the iClaim platform, a lot of hands-on, a lot of hands-on training, a lot of working together. Let's move to day two because day two, now you're going to start to move from the iClaim practice management now into getting into EMRX. Now, EMRX is the electronic medical records platform that is also integrated with our system. It works it works hand in hand. It doesn't. It's not like you have to work with a third-party EMR system and make sure that it works in our system. It it is works simultaneously with our system. And here's just a, a brief little information about it on the left-hand side. This is some of the marketing materials that you're going to be, uh, be having as a as a licensee and then going over in during the training class. Obviously, you're going to go through another demo of the EMR. And uh, talking about demos, I know this is such a a big thing for our licensees, and it's hard for us to even put a price tag on what uh, what value that brings to a licensee. But there are we we do demonstrations for you as a prospect looking to get into the business. But Adam, why don't you share a little bit the value of this demo, how it, how it helps our licensees actually get doctors? Because we're doing demos, I, I bet you every day of the week at least. Oh, absolutely, yeah. So. We have a very specific step-by-step -step marketing process that we teach you, the licensee. And it starts with doing a, a cost analysis or what we call a practice analysis for a doctor's practice to figure out what their needs are and what their costs are. You, you, have, to, you have to really know what's going on in their practice before you can speak intelligently about helping them, right? Um, so step two of that process is we actually do a full demonstration of the platform. So one of our experts go, gets on GoToMeeting, like what you're seeing here, 
and and you're you know the licensee usually is at the office with the doctor and the office manager and you guys are watching the screen and our expert is guiding them through the entire demonstration of the billing practice management system I claim and EMRX the system here uh, and answering all their technical questions for you and and what this does is I mean it saves you <laughs> It saves you a heck of a lot of headaches, first of all. You don't have to be an expert in the system by any means uh, to start doing demos because we're doing the demos. So the doctors, you know, they can see that you're not working alone. They can see that you have technology partners helping you. Uh, right. That builds your credibility. You know, I mean, they, they get the idea that, hey, this, this licensee is, they're the owner of the business. You know, they have people doing the demos and stuff for them. So very impressive, and uh, we do those for free. For the life of your business, we do free demos for you. Absolutely, and so if you're on this the, the webinar today, or you may listen to it a little bit later, and you haven't seen a demo, uh, get with whoever asked you to come to the webinar today, and 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 ask them to show you, kind of give you a run through, because it'll do two things for you. Well, number one, it'll kind of give you a an understanding about the product and how it's going to help you and 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 get your your business launched. But then the other side, think of it as, wow, if I have my doctor sitting here right next to me. These guys are going to be running this whole show, and you're going to be learning. The doctor is going to be impressed because, you know, we can deal with any different specialty that's out there, whether it's a, just a regular general practitioner or an orthopedic surgeon or a uh, cardiologist or a podiatrist, whatever it might be. We've got someone here that can specialize in doing that demo specifically for those specialties. So. You're not going to be out of place, and you can do this literally within a week or two weeks right after you get out of training, and you may not know a hill of beans about what's really going on with this, but we're we're the ones with the experience and get that, and that's how we're able to help you get that doctor and launch there for your billing as quickly as possible. So let, now let's talk about day three. Day three is basically today. This was day three of our training workshop, and uh, now we're going to get into all of the rest of the services. Adam, I know that we've got more than just iClaim and EMRX, and a lot of people also ask, well, are any of these other services used, and if so, how are they used? you want to kind of explain those real quickly for us? Yeah, these are all the services that are included in your business package when you become a licensee and pay that initial fee. You have access to all of these. Um, and then part of the thing that we do is, you know, with the, the practice analysis that we do, there's several questions that we give you to ask them to help you determine if any of these services would make sense to offer or not. You're never going to offer all these services to every doctor, of course. So that's another part of the marketing process is we actually help you put together a proposal that has the, the two or three services usually that you're going to offer a, a certain doctor along with what percentage you should charge for billing. We're going to help you with that um, and all that. and, 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 and so, and all that. So we help you put those together. So at the end of the demo, actually, you're able to, to hand the proposal right after the demo that we've helped you put together that has those different services. But yeah, you learn about each one and how they work. I mean, are we going to talk about each service? I forget what the slides are here. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to just, you know, because a lot of people are going to ask, I mean, obviously, does anybody use CodeWrite? Does anybody use uh, iDocs now? So what we're going to do, we're just going to briefly share with everybody on the call today of talking about what these services are and as Adam says you're not going to throw all of these services at the doctor at one time uh, after you do that practice analysis you will then determine at which one of these would be the, the right one to do now obviously Adam we've talked about this several times that people that get in this business especially with here at ABS is that we're we're helping to become a certified medical revenue manager not a certified coder but we, as, an, as ABS, as in, you know, globally, we do have coding services. You want to kind of take it from there and talk a little bit about code right, and then we'll talk about AutoGuard all at the same time. Sure. Uh, so one of the very frequently asked questions we get is, don't I have to know coding? I've, I've had uh, so many people tell me, oh, well, well, you know, you have to be a coding expert to do this, so there's no way I can do this, right? Well, we take care of that. We have people that have gone through two years of coding school that you can use if a doctor needs help with their medical coding. The coding is there's a number related to all the different illness, illnesses out there, and there's a code number related to all the different uh, 
you know, treatments and different things like that. So that's what we mean when we say coding. Well, most of the time, your clients, the doctors, they are making the determination on what codes they want you to send to the insurance companies. But there may be circumstances where a doctor says, hey, can you help me make sure I'm doing this right? Code right. We have certified coders that will code the claim properly for the doctor, and then you, the licensee, do what you normally do. You just process what they send you, and, they, and then the insurance company pays the doctor like normal. So, uh, and that's a service that you can make extra money on on top of the percentage that you're charging for the billing. Yeah. So, I mean, right out of the box, everybody, you may not know how to code, but if the doctor says, "Do you have? Can you handle my code?" You can say, "Absolutely. I've got a team of people." that can do your codes, and not only do your codes, there are some times where some doctors may need what's called uh, to do an audit, because a lot of doctors are under, could be under several audits, uh, not just Medicare, obviously that's that's one of the big ones, but it could be with some of the other insurance companies, and what that means is, is that these insurance companies, and especially, especially Medicare, they're really looking to make sure that the doctors are not um, trying to get higher reimbursements whenever their notes don't uh, substantiate that. And Audit Guard is one of those helps there that you could introduce to the to the doctors. And you're gonna you're gonna have one of our co actually be on the phone with your doctor going through all these charts and making sure that they these doctors are fit with even within their own area to make sure that they are in right in in, a, in alignment with what they should be charging even in their own area. Then we have a couple of other ones and we're gonna kind of zip through these real quickly and then we'll maybe get back to some of your questions here, but the other ancillaries is what's called quick collect. Uh, you got a lot of practices who find it hard to time, you know, trying to make sure that they get all their money collected, and we're talking about money on the front end. Adam, it's, it's, it's incredible. I've heard some of those stories from our licensees saying that there are some doctors whose offices just still don't collect on their copays and how much money the doctor loses even on a, over a month's time with just not collecting copays. But here's one of those areas that can be uh, done. And then iDocs Now is a HIPAA compliant document management system, online document management system that allows the doctors to store all of their paperwork. And Adam, I know that uh, we use iDocs Now at the office. But this could this could not only be, for, benefit the doctors, but it could also, we know some licensees, that are actually using this with other businesses outside of just doctors. You want to explain that to you real quickly and then we'll keep moving on? Yeah, this service is great for any industry that has a ton of historical archived, you know, paperwork that they want to get modernized and scan it and actually get it up into the cloud. You've heard that term, the cloud. That's what this does. And, you know, for doctors, they've been able to free up um, space in their offices so that some doctors have used this service and they've been able to have another exam room where they can actually start bringing in more revenue. So this has been very beneficial, but yeah, any type of like government organization or educational uh, organization, libraries, um, you can offer this service to. There you go. All right, let's ask, uh, I'm going to get through some questions here because I don't want to end up and have a big old long list of questions for us to have to go through, so we'll try to tackle as many as we can. And, Daniel's asking the question, uh, Adam, during the live training, do you guys walk us through a sort of a day in the life of a doctor's office? Yeah, we, we certainly do. That's part of the, the role playing and the instruction is we, we show you a day in the life of a licensee, how that looks, how it looks on the doctor's side, how the front office interact with the system and, and everybody else. So yeah, it's all explained. Yep. And then Natalie's asking, this is a great question because we've just kind of gone through some of our other ancillary services, and most people are seeing that it's branded with these little circles and everything. But uh, she's asking, after becoming a licensee, does the, a, does the business have to be branded as American Business Systems? Good question. Yeah, uh, Natalie just started looking at the program. I talked to her earlier today. Uh, hi, Natalie. Um, so it's, it's a, not a franchise model, so everyone out there is not operating as ABS. They're actually operating under their own individual branded uh, entity, their own company name. And so we actually take, once you go through our training and you come up with your name and you come up with your logo and all that, we actually print 
on these flyers and all the other materials that we have. We print your name and logo, your brand on these materials. We put it on the website that you get. So you're truly an independent business owner and you're able to run this business however you want to run it. You can keep it very small and home based or we have licensees with 6,000 square foot offices. You know, it can go either direction, um, but you're, you're marketing as your own entity. There you go. Last question for now, uh, Nancy, you're asking, and I'll answer this one for you. Can, can your EHR system interface with other EHR systems? Nancy, I, what, what you would want to know is, can our EMR system interface with maybe another practice management system? And so, because only, you'd only need one EMR system for, for a doctor's office. They're not going to work two separate ones. But what we know that we can do, if the doctors are using one particular EMR system, we can uh, get the data out of that and implement that into our EMR system. So therefore, the doctors actually have all of their medical records from their patients from their old EMR system into ours. Uh, that's done by our engineers. They take, take tag, may take you know up to a couple of weeks and get that done. But that can be interfaced from one to another. Because you said, for an example, interface EMR to like Epic. Epic is just another EMR system out there. So we need to pull the data from Epic and put it into our system. That can be done. So hopefully that helped answer your question there. All right, so let's keep going now. So we've just completed day three, and we're kind of got about 20 more minutes or so to get through. And we want to make sure, again, we get all the questions answered. But now talking about day four, this is where the shift really starts to happen because what, as you can see here, what we've been able to do is uh, in, inform you about iClaim and how it works, inform you about EMRX and how it works, get in there and show you all of the different other ancillary services and how they work, day four really begins marketing. And I think, Adam, this is the biggest part where people are so concerned is how do I get that first client? So day four and day five really focus in on how to get clients. You want to kind of share that a little bit as I go to the next screen here? Yeah, we've got about a dozen or so different methods that we have perfected over the years. Um, you know, this, this started out in the beginning in the early 90s with my father. There he is right there. <laughs> he actually does some of the marketing sessions. So, I mean, you're learning it uh, straight from the guy who invented them. Um, well, maybe not invented the marketing methods, but basically took what was already out there and made it better. Um, so we've been able to get really good results from the, the, the marketing methods that we teach. And, uh, yeah, let's just go through them. Yeah. The first one is, is – uh, you know, getting doctors, we always say, is based upon not whether the system can work, but really upon relationships. And I think that's where it all starts right here is, you know, getting doctors. I, I, I was sharing this with a couple of prospects that I'm working with, and it, it just gets down to this. It's not whether the system can work, because we know the system can work, but those that are looking to get in this business, can the doctors trust you? <laughs> Because guess what? You're dealing with their money. And I think that's one of the first questions people need to ask themselves. Can I, can I build a relationship that the doctors will trust me to handle their money? Yeah, and there's a couple of different angles to this. So the, the first part of it is we teach you how to present yourself and your business so that the doctor knows, okay, this person, they just opened up a new office here locally. But you tell the doctor, look, I'm part of a nationwide network of offices, and we process thousands of claims every day. Like I said, we do the demos for you. We can actually give the doctors other doctors to talk to if they want to about the system, references for them, all kinds of things so that they know that you're a legitimate operation. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, what was the second part of that? I forgot what I was oh, going to say. <laughs> trust, the trust part of it. I'll get back to it. Here we go. I'll get back oh, to it. I remember what I was going to say. I got it. So the second part of that is you're not going and beating down doors. You're not, I mean, some of our licensees are good at cold calling, but we don't, we don't focus on that at all. We don't teach people to focus on cold calling or knocking on doors. You're going to be going out and networking and finding people who can refer you to doctors or office managers. And so when you make that initial call or that initial sit down with them, there's already a tiny bit of trust there because they know who you are because they know the person that referred you to them. 
So we can we can go into that more in detail, but um, that that's why there. And, and another thing is, is a lot of most of the time when you're sitting down with someone, they are already looking for help. Like they're already saying, "Yeah, I want to look at what you've got because I, I I've got some issues. Like I don't know why I'm losing money. Can you please help?" <laughs> so yeah, you're right. And it, and it all starts back with that first initial contact that you've got, uh, the marketing material that we have. I mean, here again. Um, what just kind of back up again what Adam mentioned earlier is that our marketing material is going to be customized for you it's going to have your information down there at the bottom uh, we, we do get to move a few of these little things around so we can make sure that we have space there to put your contact information in but folks these our marketing material is not something that you're going to print off on your printer at home or whether you have to go get that printed off at Kinko's or wherever else you're going to get this marketing material that's been professionally analyzed from one, one aspect of it, but professionally printed there as well to help you with your marketing. But not only are you going to get that, I'm going to click on this next one here. I think the, 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 one of the biggest and best things that we've done in here so far is this new marketing technique of using this book, The New Thriving Medical Practice. Adam, you want to kind of explain that a little bit too and what they get out of that? This is the latest book written by my father and a, a retired surgeon, Vicki Rackner. And the, the book is meant to give to a doctor uh, so that they can better understand what their needs are. Um, you know, a lot of them just don't realize what their true costs are. They don't realize that they have some of the options that we have. They just don't realize they're out there. So that's what this book is meant to do. And, and what Eric is talking about is, is we just updated this book, which I think you're going to show that here in a minute. But I'm going to go and show it right now. Yeah, we just updated this book so that we can actually customize it with the licensee's name at the bottom. And we have already a pre-written forward that's written by you, the licensee. Right. <laughs> there it is right there. So we put your name, your contact information in there, and your name on the front of the book. Yeah. So tell tell me that doesn't build credibility right there. You're a published author now. Poof. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the simple forward that is written out. And if you like the forward, you can keep the forward. If you want to rewrite one, we can get that in there too. Just make sure that we'll, we'll we'll make sure it's gonna fit the rest of the book. But this right here, folks. I mean, let alone just those flyers that we have. But you're gonna have this again, like with your name on it passing that out to doctors. Now, you're not going to just hand it out to every single doctor, but kind of going back to what Adam said, you're working with your network of people who already is going to give you a, a lead into a doctor. There's where the, the force really comes behind it because at that point, the doctor's going to read certain sections of this book, which you're, you'll learn how to do that during the training class by marking certain pages that the doctor's going to quickly go over and turn to which leads you to get you to that practice analysis. So that's all part of the marketing uh, technique that we have. And Adam, like you said, there's a lot of people who still are just a little bit timid of doing some marketing. But folks, we're going to help you with every aspect of your marketing, whether it's those, those flyers, whether it's the book, whether it's what's called drip marketing through these, these little campaigns that we have here on, uh, with postcards. And then I think you even mentioned earlier a, a way for people to use sales reps. We can talk a little bit about that right now too, Adam. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, so you want me to talk about the sales reps? Oh, there yep. they are. <laughs> yep, here we are. <laughs> Wait for the slide. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so one of our marketing methods, one of the 12 or so marketing methods is sales reps. Now, we don't have people we don't have like these smiling happy people just waiting in a room to ship to you but we we have all of the we have all of the materials in place to show you how to find rock star sales people you know they may be in your area they may be outside of your area you can hire them anywhere in the country it doesn't matter uh, but the cool thing is is we show you how to find people that will work on commission only okay mm -hmm. so while you're building your business before your business has any real revenue you can hire these people who will say, yeah, I'll, I'll go out and market your business as long as you give me a huge piece of, you know, the setup fee. And if you give me a small percentage of the billing, then I'll go out and do it for free. I'll go out and market for, for free uh, as long as I've got that potential revenue, you know, on, on the back end. So we have all of this uh, sample uh, 
interview scripts, um, commission structures, sales rep agreements, and then all of our training materials so that you can get them trained up to speed on the products very, very quickly and how to pay them as well. All of that is, is ready to go. So this works for the two different types of people, people that are working full time and you want to build this business part time and you want to kind of work towards working with a, a sales rep or number two for those that want to build a, a medical billing company but yet you're still a little bit afraid to get out there and market yourself uh, and get this business going. Obviously again, that's for those two groups of people. But uh, you know, for those that I think what I've seen, Adam, a lot of people who are a little bit timid about doing marketing, after they get through with our training class, they find out, I don't think I need a sales rep. I think I can do this on my own. That, that happens more often than not. When they, when, I mean, if you guys go to our YouTube page and look at our testimonials from training, there are so many people in there that will say, I have no sales experience. I'm terrified of marketing. But now that I've seen the methods, there's some that I'm comfortable with and I'm going to go out and make it happen. Right. So go and check those out, those videos, yeah. yeah. And they know that ABS is going to stand behind them doing the demos. They just know that they just got to get that doctor to a demo and it all right. starts with this practice analysis. And we've kind of, kind of got a couple of screenshots here of what they look like and then what the report looks like because, folks, you don't want to compare a doctor with an average uh, numbers that are out there. Let's deal with the doctor's real numbers, their numbers, and then compare that to where they are and where they could be utilizing someone like yourself. So I've got these two side by side here, Adam, just kind of, we can just briefly talk about these real quickly. Yeah, so the practice analysis, that's step one of the marketing process. Um, you, you do this for free, uh, obviously. It takes about 15 minutes. Usually you're doing it, with, doing it with the office manager. We give you that list of questions to ask on the left there. So it's very easy. I mean, you're basically just reading these questions off and writing down the answers that they give you. And then you, you take that questionnaire, you contact our support team, you send that into us, and we're going to help you put together that revenue report that you see there on the right. Now, these are actual numbers that a licensee did ran and created for an actual client. And you can look and see right there that based on the information that was provided to them, they predict a monthly revenue increase of over 17%, which, I mean, it seems almost, it seems too, you know, too good to be true, but those numbers are based on the questionnaire numbers that were given to the licensee by the office manager. So we see that time and time again. Yeah, and folks, if, if, if you can't close a deal by showing a doctor that they could be possibly getting $26,000 more a month, even if you did half of that, they're going to be happy. Uh, because remember, they're already losing money already. If you can show the, of an increase, and so that's, there's where we, we want to try to help you right now. Don't think about you're having to go sell the system. I, Adam, I talk to so many people and they want to know how does our system compare to other systems. Folks, if you start to get into comparisons with one system versus our system, you're already behind the eight ball, ball because now you can try to compare programs, softwares. Folks, you're not in software sales. You're not re trying to resell iClaim. iClaim is your vehicle. This is, this is what the driver is. The driver is what the doctors are losing. So a lot of people ask, well, how many people fail at this business? Everyone fails at this business who don't go through this particular process. And, and that's what we want to drive is, is if you stick to what we tell you to do, do the practice analysis, do the revenue report, do the demonstrations, you're going to get your clients because, again, you're dealing with the doctor's money. You're not trying to compare apples to apples with a software, some other, somebody else's software to our software. It's just our software is going to make sure that the doctors get to where they want to get to. You're going to have all of this ready to go in a professional folder that's already printed for you. Again, this is what you're getting in your business package. A lot of people ask, what do I get for my $25,990? Everything that we've shown you so far, every marketing piece, the book, the, these marketing folders here that we're talking about, a lifetime of demos, you're getting all of this for the $25,990, everything that we're talking about right here. Now, for those that are, uh, I would say, a little bit more adventurous than, than some other folks, Adam, some people might want to do what's called lunch and learns and doing some one-on-one. -on -one. So I'm going to kind of 
flip through these screens here, and I'll let you kind of take it from here about talking about lunch and learns and even to, through the trade shows. So let's talk about those that really want to get out there and go, go out there and face those people. Yeah, lunch and learns are pretty cool. Um, they're actually a way for you to have a room full of attentive potential clients, like office managers, for example. How do you do that? Easy. Feed them. <laughs> uh, that's exactly what it's called, a lunch and learn. So what, what our licensees do is they promote uh, an event where they, they have a, they're going to be speaking on a topic. Now, I just said a scary word, speaking. Um, we have licensees that will actually help you with that, and you could, you could certainly find another expert to do the speaking part. And we're talking about just, you know, hot topics um, in the industry, you know, HIPAA compliancy or MACRA or some of the new payment models, or, you know, we can give you a whole list of hot topics to, to present on. So you tell them, hey, look, free food, come <laughs> learn about how this thing works. And you will have a room full of office managers show up. The doctor will say, hey, look, they're feeding you. Go, go learn about this thing that we don't know anything about. Right. And so obviously you've got a captive audience and you've got a lot of potential clients in that room. So licensees have had pretty good success with that. Yeah, and folks, we can even take it a step further. Adam mentioned that there's some other licensees that will uh, maybe help you with that. Maybe they'll be the ones that are the speaker. But what, if, what about now? I mean, Dr. Vicki Rackner, the lady that helped co-write the book, you could do a lunch and learn on the new thriving medical practice, have the book, and coordinate a time where you have Dr. Rackner through a go-to meeting be the presenter. I mean, how much better can that get, Adam? What better way than have an expert doctor, you know, an ex-surgeon, telling people how awesome the system is and how awesome the services are. Absolutely, and, and yeah. she's, she would do this again for our licensees and there's some coordination that needs to happen there. And then you've got trade show uh, for those that want to let people come to your booth. I mean, Adam, we've had a lot of our licensees and uh, I see our, our trade shows booth being used every single week. Yeah, and the thing is, is we show you how to find these events that are going on. They're different medical expos and whatnot. But you can go anywhere in the country. It doesn't have to be in your neighborhood. Anywhere you want to go to an event, you can go, and we will ship this booth to you. Um, you only have to pay shipping costs. That's it. Yep. So you have a full-size one, tabletop one. You'll be able to have all the handout materials there, like you can see. That's a great way to get, get leads and interested uh, uh, contacts. Absolutely. All right, so, folks, we've taken you through uh, day four. Now we're going to get to day five, and we're going to try to get through this as quickly as possible because we've got about six or seven minutes here. But day five, folks, if you can see so far, we've packed in a lot so far in our training. You're going to learn a ton of information. Now here's a jumpstart checklist, and this is one of the things that Cynthia has come up because, folks, if you don't know about Cynthia, Cynthia is our trainer, but she's also a licensee. She's been a licensee for, what, seven, eight years now? Adam? Yep, nine years. You celebrated her nine-year anniversary. Nine years. Okay, so the nine years. She knows what to do. So you're learning from an expert yourself of knowing what to do. You're going to get a jumpstart checklist, and obviously uh, this is just some of the things that you're going to learn there. And then just now you're going to start learning about support. So support, how to get everything aligned here of what you need to do with support. Then, Adam, you want to talk about uh, our support and Chad, who's our head of our support? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, there's just a brief session at the end of the class on how to get support from us. We have multiple channels. You know, we have, a, a of course, email, toll-free phone number, uh, live chat. Um, I guess most importantly is our private support website that you guys will get a login to that never expires. Hmm. Okay, and that picture a moment ago, that was also a picture of uh, our technology support department. Um, they've got dozens and dozens of support people ready to help you uh, with the technology, the systems, if you have questions. Uh, but yeah, back to the licensee support site. We have done research on other opportunities that have costed, cost way more than our opportunity that don't have anything like this. This is what's called a private intranet which just means you have a login access and it's meant for licensees only. Um, it has everything in here that you would ever need. All of the services are explained. Um, all of the different marketing methods that we teach you in training is in here. 
um, various different tools and resources. Basically, that's this is a lifesaver because we know that you're not going to retain everything in the live training. You're, there's no way you can retain it all. It's too much. So you can rest assured because you can come back to the support site when you get back home. You can go through anything that we covered. And there's a video, there's a webinar, there's a conference call, there's a PowerPoint, there's a everything related to what we taught you in the in the live training that you can go and continue your education and you know refresh your, yourself. So yeah, and like Adam said, uh, each section has been videotaped and or gone through a webinar that you're going to go through the training class. So whether it's kind of starting about day one, I claim, or day two of EMRX, each one of those sections is laid out in a webinar format. And even going further than that, folks, even though that we have recorded webinars on our licensee support site, you'll also get updates every week. We do live uh, webinars for our licensees, just like you're experiencing right now. You're having live uh, a live webinar today with Adam and me of explaining the business to you. Every Friday, we're doing a just about every Friday, we're doing a, a live licensee webinar specifically on certain topics. And those topics come to us through support. Like, you know, hey, I'm working with a specific doctor and how do I need, I need to have some help on closing this doctor or any of those support mechanisms. Those are held every Friday for our licensees and those are recorded and those are stored here on the licensee support site just in case you can't make those. And obviously we've already talked about the book. We're going to show you again how to use the book again with your name and forward, uh, having written the forward to the book. Now we're going to get ready to close out here. We want to talk about where the training's held. Adam, I'm going to kind of flip through these. You can talk about where it's held and everything. And so we'll go from here and then kind of start wrapping up here. Yeah, we do it at the Spring Hill Suites uh, in Grapevine, Texas, just north north of the airport, Dallas-Fort Worth Airport. Uh, we do those every six weeks. It's a five-day class, and you only have to pay for your travel and hotel. Uh, we cover everything else. Yeah, and here's all the pertinent information about that. You just fly into DFW. The hotel will pick you up from the airport, so you don't need a car. Uh, the classes are Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. But on Friday, we let out about 1 o'clock for those that need to get home a little bit earlier on Friday. We provide lunch every day uh, here at AB, at the training class. So even at the hotel, you get breakfast and lunch from, from us here. And uh, But like Adam says, it doesn't, the licensing fee doesn't include your travel or hotel. So Adam, as we're wrapping this thing up, I'm going to let you take over the part about here about talking 100% money back guarantee. I'll look over some of the questions. So if we need to wrap up any last minute questions here. Yeah, for those of you who are still, you know, having concerns about the business, you're not sure, um, we have a, a guarantee. So you pay the fee, you go through training. If you don't like any aspect of the business at the end of the training, we'll give you your money back. Just ask for a refund. That's it. That's it.